Hi everyone, my name's Matt and I'm on the customer success team here at Figured. Today we're going to have a look at the Count Journals tool for milk. So when and why would we want to use this tool? So we'd use this if we're cash coding milk income, so that means our cash and accrual dates are the same throughout the year. And as we're being paid a month after the milk was actually produced, we're going to have to run some accruals to make sure that uh, accrual transaction actually aligns with when the milk was produced. So we're using this at the end of the year for reporting. We're aligning those KGMS production dates with the accrual dates. And we can also use the tool to uh, run some manual journals to split out yearly income at the end of the year if you receive a lump sum payment. So this is an example of the trading statement before the milk journals tool was run and this is after. So you can see it's just journaling the accrual dates back a month. So we'll jump into the farm and have a look at how this looks. So here's our milk tracker and it can help first just to check out the tracker settings here. And you can see down the bottom of the tracker settings that we're asked if we're raising invoices uh, for our milk and we've selected this to no. So what this is going to do in the tracker, it's going to visually accrue those cash dates back a month to correctly align with when the milk was produced. So we can see this is what's happening here in the tracker. So we'll just have a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the same tracker and an incomplete end of year trading statement. So we can look at this $12,095 figure here for August with uh, the KGMS beside it here. And we, can, we know that as the settings were ticked to know that this is the track is already visually accruing it back a month. So we can see the $12,095 figure was actually aligned with uh, this production figure here for July. So you can see that this does not align here. So we know that the trading statement, we're going to need to push those accrual dates back a month. So let's jump back into the account journals tool itself and have a look at how this works. So the tool is located under the accounting tab, account journals. Click the financial year you're looking at. So we're using 2021 in this example. Select your milk current year accounts. Cool. So on this page, we can see the cash and accrual dates are the same. So we're going to need to use the helper here to accrue the accrual dates one month before cash. So we've, that's what we've selected here. Scroll down, select next. It's also noting on the page we're just on before clicking next. If you receive a lump sum payment at the end of the year for your milk income, you can divide that out month by month manually and then click next and then we'll also send those journals through to zero to reverse out for those months. Great, so now we can see how the journals are gonna be posted through to zero. Now we just select our contra account and in this instance and using accounts receivable and then post those journals through to zero. Once that's complete, we can jump back into the trading statement. Figured will prompt a sync for that to all come through and we can check out the trading statement and we can see that that 12,000 figure is now aligning with when the milk was actually produced. So that's matching our tracker and that's job done.